brakes on. Let me see, I go in reverse. Okay. I take park off. It's like understanding how everything fucking works again is. Okay. Okay, so parking brake is on. So I press parking brake and it's. Oh, it's a push button reverse. Okay. Yeah, but the brake's still going. Oh, I, I gotta pull it? Push to close. Oh. And I'm in sport. Comfort. I, like, literally, I have no idea how to operate the car. The parking brake. Have you driven it yet? Yeah, I yeah. went. I just went up. I, I I just literally took it. Okay, so now it's blinking. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. And I don't want to drive with a parking brake. If the parking brake were on, I would go. think it would go up automatically like mine does. Really? I okay. think, yeah. Um, I don't have a manual parking brake release. Okay. You'd probably be better off getting me out of here than you. Oh, you can adjust your, yeah. your camera? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, my newest car is 2006, so you know, I don't know how to drive a newer car. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, there's so much electronics going. Yeah, mine's the same way. I, mean, I don't know how to get that. Is this the volume? Uh, no. For the radio? I to... Yeah, no, I don't think that's... I don't know. I still have the brake light on, so I, that, that's freaking me out a little bit. Is there a manual? I'm sure there is somewhere, but I'll call this guy if I need to, but... Are you tight here? No. Oh, no, you're okay. Yeah, you're yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Beto! You wanna hop in? <laughs> That's amazing. You can get okay, yeah, the brake is on. I can wait if you no, want. no, you can hop in. Maybe you can show me how to take this fucking brake off. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So, how do you get to open? Uh, open. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, the car looks really good. Doesn't it? So, there's a... It's, it's that bottom one. And you pull it, and it's still, it's still showing is on. How about push it, push it in? Oh, no, it's not. Is it in neutral? Oh, you're in reverse. Is it engaged right now? No. Oh, see, it's good. But it, the light's on. Oh, really? Oh, right there? No, you can't see it. The, the lights over here on too for oh that comfort I, I... parking park lock park lock you found it well I'm just looking at so park lock emergency release oh I'm gonna ask this guy maybe break park lock. okay so. Beto, this is Tom. Hi, Beto. Hi, Tom. So, any idea how to get the brake off? <laughs> What's it say? Auto park. Maybe it's B and C. So now it's in park. Okay. So I know a park's different than. Okay, I'll just read this. Yeah. Okay, it says the park lock is a locking device built into the gearbox. This device is designed to help the vehicle from moving 
when the multi-disc clutches are open, in other words, with the engine off and or without the hydraulic pressure required for gearbox operation. It went off, the light went off. Alright, they're getting, getting back. Uh, that's the he's part. He's gonna get back. Do you, do you want here? Why don't you take it now? It's in park again. Here, you, you you take a drive first. Get him in back. You're more comfortable driving. Um, okay, I'm in park. Uh, you hop him back. He's, I swear I was able to go for a ride easy, more easily myself. <laughs> I'll tell you, the red also is better in person. Oh, yeah, it looked, it, it looked it, obnoxious. It, it. A little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's... Oh, I, I like gonna, the red. The red looks. You're going to have to move it quite a, quite a bit back. Do you want to sit? Uh, um, like... I'm fine. If you, you can sit. All right, you're going to have to move it uh, back. back at, you're a big guy. You're as big as they come, I, I think. Can, uh, put that up, though. I don't have to work a clutch, so we'll just see. God, the ergonomics are incredible. This. Oh, it's a, How are you like doing? Are you okay back there? Yeah. Well, we'll survive. But I mean, I'm, I, I like the roof. Yeah, from back there, and you'll notice that twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's, it's literally Thank a twenty thousand dollars. I know. I read it. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable like, what they charge. It's like my first sports car was my when I was what was I twenty one? Yeah, I was twenty one years old. I'd signed a you know. First round draft pick for the Baltimore Colts, right? Yeah. <laughs> I buy a sports car, of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. Uh, start, oh, stop, right here. Oh, Put your foot okay. in the Mine's brake like just there. in case it's going Okay, so you are, you're well, in sport mode. Yeah. And you're, uh, and okay. then the volume is, is somewhere back here. I'm going to lower that. That's okay. the uh, volume for yeah. the radio. Yeah, everything's on the steering wheel. Right. You know, and then this has got a whole uh, you know, display here so you can watch for the passenger. You won't, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then, so from your perspective, you, you start in auto for a moment, start yeah. in, well, you can start in comfort or sport, or sport I mean, and just try. I'll start in comfort just to yeah, feel just what to the, the just to, to feel what the, uh, what it's built in gearing is like. Yeah. Mine, mine's a seven speed. I don't this know. This seven. So, okay, so, and then reverse. I can't really see very well, but. Well, here, you're fine. You, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You got a full on. I'm not used to any of this. I make sure I feel the. It's not as that, loud as I anticipated, which is. It's, I'm surprised it doesn't have a very, like a hyper cent, like. It's it's designed to be a, a grand to, a grand yeah that's what I mean I was yeah. like the the sensitivity grand of tour. the no, of it's... the throttle I was like because with mine yeah I had to kind of learn to feather it you know are you not he's as tall as they come but are you comfortable oh, yeah we're good and you're higher you notice that you if in back the seats in back are slightly higher than than otherwise feel free to get your mirrors comfortable and do yeah. what you got to do. So that one's okay. That's and I like how you can see the like the you know the edge of the the tire. So what my car has, which is a weird thing, this probably doesn't need it, but my car has this like exhaust flap that if you want, when you're in comfort mode, you can open up the exhaust. Yeah, but this has in, that too. When I, you go into sport mode, then it just automatically opens up. Yeah, this this has that. Well, he left the switch. In Boston, so oh, okay. You know, so there. there's the digital speedometer. Red line at eight thousand. Eighty two hundred. Jesus. I know. And it only feels <laughs> happy when it's there. And you have a rev counter yeah. right here. Right. And carbon fiber. Everyone, watch this curb on your left here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna get this. Okay. 
So you're in fifth gear now, just so you know. So if you got out of auto, get yeah. into sport. Just fucking turn it on. Now, is this full manual transmission then on the... No, only if you get out of... You're in sport, auto, but if you... If you, if you start pressing the paddles, I think it puts you in May. Yeah. But it's less, and it's not even on bumpy road mode, and it's less bumpy than my, my Cayenne yeah. by, by a long stretch. Yeah, this is pretty bumpy right here. Yeah. You know, as far as it's... No, it, it, horrible road. Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is yeah. This, this is not exactly smooth sailing road. No, but press the, if you wanted to, press the bumpy road button. So that actually it dampens. Yeah. Well, so this magically. goes back into sport. Yeah, it's S not sport. It's just it's just bumpy road. You're in sport because the, the you know the the sport. Mode. All right. Let's see what you do. Get in first. Do it right. Do it. You know, don't don't be a pussy. Where's the? Uh, it's right under the. Where is he under? Oh, the, there it is. Uh, right there. I see yeah. it. Okay. It won't let you redline. It, it it'll hit up against it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, hit it. That's really all you got? You're in fifth gear now? Wow. That's it? Well, that, that was horrible. I'm gonna get a little bit all right. <laughs> out of out of you know the neighborhood here. I know where I know where I've I know where I've taken my car and I've done 140 on this highway. But there's a little stretch. Oh, yeah? I know exactly where it is. All right, well, this will do 208. Well, there's no other, you know, like, no driveways, no other intersections. Are you a football fan, by the way? No, I don't, I don't watch football. Now, do you guys know each other for work, or did you uh, He works on my cars for me. Okay. He kind of helps me out, and he became a friend as a result. And talking to him about going into business, helping people with cars, you know, on a personalized concierge level. You know, so you need so, something in your car, he'll coordinate. Are you, know, you a mechanic? Yeah. And do you have your, just your own shop or what? No, I don't. I, yeah, I want to get into the auto concierge service. Where he would coordinate bringing it to other people's shops, helping you advise, make sure you don't get fucked. He saved me, like, a shit ton from Porsche told me I had to replace the camshaft for 8000 in my Cayenne. It's like they were fucked in the head, and it was a $300 metal piece that just needed to be, you know, shifted into place. I mean, um, and, and then another shop told me I had to replace my turbos. You, you know, know, it's quick, but it's, again, it's like... I could drive it, all day in this. You know, it's not... It's not, it's not like hypercar. No, that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's a very, very much a GT ride. Dad, we're in seventh gear. Just loafing along at 1,200 RPMs. Oh, it's got a G-force meter here, too. That's interesting. Yeah, so one of the great things about what they did with my AMG was that um, dynamic engine mount system. Yeah. It's fucking incredible. What does it do? What it does is that it it has a fluid in the in its computer controlled fluid, you know, dampening when you get you know you've got inertia when you're when you're moving in a straight line. And so when you when you turn you're going against inertia and it causes yaw in a car, right? Right. And so what this and the engine wants to keep going. That weight of the engine wants to keep going straight when the car is going, you know, on a turn. So it's measuring the, the G-forces on the lateral suspension to instantly stiffen or relax the suspension so that you don't get, you don't get yaw. It stays... This is four-wheel steer. I think, you know, the, the, the electronics in this, even though it's four or five years old, are as sophisticated as it came in, in the day. I mean, it's interesting how, like, the the pitch, the timbre of the V12 
is actually a little more relaxing, less obnoxious than my my V8. There, it's got more to work, more to work. It's a eight. higher pitch, and it's just like it's it's a. I don't see how you would know you're going 45 miles an hour in seventh gear. <laughs> hey, dude, get on it. Get out of automatic. Get the paddles working. It's only happy above four. Seriously. And it's a technically a mid-engine car. Because the engine's behind the... Uh, it just says... It doesn't... You don't feel the torque. It's so fast. It's ridiculous. You know, I mean, the... all get on with the windows up they're double glazed I mean yeah, it's, it's quiet <laughs> <laughs> wow Sitting up front, they say you really don't save your money if you're not going to be in back. Ooh, that sounds good. I think the, the roof is epic from when you look up. Do you believe how this came together? Yeah, I know. What your relationship was with the seller? Oh my god, dude! It, it, it went on Monday. We were one hour late wiring the money, and he tried to back out of the deal. Really? One hour late because he gave us incorrect wire instructions, and his name didn't match identically. My bank flipped out, given the amount, and they said, "Yo, know, you know, we had to verify it." So did he have like sellers for Yeah, cars? yeah, because he it was sitting in his shop, and people were looking at it. And his wife wanted to keep it, and he, after he detailed it, he realized he could make thirty thousand on it. And he's like, you know, I was asking if too too many questions because I'm buying a car sight unseen. I never saw a video of it running. You know, I had no idea if it was going to run. And he literally sent me an email saying, I, "I'm reneging on the deal." There's a turn signal. Like uh, they're right here. Oh, 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 okay. Everything's on the wheel. Okay. Wow, it's tight. Yeah, tight one stop. yeah, really tight radius. Now hit it. On Speed Racer, <laughs> I, I, I mean, don't, I, I feel like I want to just warn you. I want to feel the brakes for a second. Go ahead, carbon fiber.
Yeah, it was uh, like this was touch and go with this guy. He just literally he flipped out on Monday. He had second thoughts. His wife wanted the car. And he literally said, "I, you know, I'm reneging." You know, and I'm like, "What?" I had to talk him off. Where's the uh, window? Oh, there. with all the room in here I'm just I mean a friend of mine had a, uh, a 360 Daytona and I couldn't fucking fit in that thing I mean you, you know to, to operate the clutch you? I'm only 6'4 so you know you've got and his, he had a Lambo and, and, and there was no way I could you know it was a joke they were just made for little Italian guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's just like the Japanese cars. Yeah, he got he has uh, iPads that he yeah, included for that. me. Um, I like when you look in the rear view, you see the prancing horses on the uh, yeah, headrest. Nice. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, this would be so fun. I mean, I did a drive on my car coming back from Boise a couple of years ago. About this time, when was it? Yeah, it was, it was right. It was Memorial Day weekend. I came back. Uh, the Friday before the weekend from Boise, I did that Idaho City Loman route, yeah. you know, through the Twisties. And it is, I, have you ever done that drive? Yeah. Oh my God, it's fantastic. And the thing is, you got to get it early enough where there's no traffic. Right. Because then you're passing people and they're like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not passing. But, but this is the kind of car where the, the beauty of it is, it's like my car, where you know, you don't have to push it. It's no, you, so smooth. It's so smooth. If you set up your your line, it's so smooth. Looks brand new. I mean, yeah, 2017. No, 2017 with 20,000. 20, yeah. 20, so, which is significant. So he drove this car. Yeah, no, it was it effectively where did he a live? two a where two owner driver. I think Arizona. It's an Arizona. Somehow I ended up in Boston for a year. So this client of mine, that he was buying Ferraris the last couple of years, and then he just like says, ah, "I'm done with my Ferrari bench now." <laughs> I guess he sold them all. He had three of them. He bought a he bought a Lusso. Yeah. Uh, he bought a uh, a Roma and a Pista. Do you know that? Oh yeah, I like the Roma. Yeah, the Roma's beautiful. East is insanely fast. Yeah. But he's... You know, as fast as all of them, even the newest ones now, none of them have a higher top speed than this. They're all around 208. Some of them are less. And the 0-60, to 60, this is 3-4. I think the fastest Ferrari is 2-5, which is... Uh, I mean, I haven't trained... Uh, you know, I haven't gone to Bondurant or I was given a deal... Where I could go to the AMG school at yeah. Laguna Seca, you know, but I just my injury and stuff. I didn't have the time to, to you know. I'd go with you. I, it'd be fun. So I. So my I've point being is it. that I don't. You don't. I don't know how to drive a, a, a car at super high speed. Yeah. I've driven a Ferrari F430, you know, on a track before with a driver, and so I mean I've had a little bit of taste of it, but not not like if you really spend some time and the one thing I just worry about like like when I've I've come down I guess of Stanley coming off that Loman Drive or Phantom Hill and I've got like 155 and I just go like you know man I don't know what happens if something jumps out in front of me it's the, uh, it's it, the wildlife thing. you know the thing about that is in my opinion I, it, it's something to be concerned about for sure but if something comes in front of you at 80 or 70 it's the same fucking thing you, you're not gonna am, am I wrong I, I think it just the faster you're going through it's like when you hit a pole there's a certain breaking point where the pole just breaks instead of just crashing into it and the pole just absorbs all the energy is it better I think you just, the, I mean, the animal's just going to go flying over you. I, 
I think anyways, I, I once almost hit a deer on a dirt bike. A buddy of mine oh, nice. uh, in front of me, the deer almost hit him, and I was right behind, and it just freaked me yeah. out. I hit a deer on my BMW, on my BMW motorcycle. Oh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> yeah I nicked it. It was like I... It scared the it shit out of me. jumped in front of me, and, and I... I, I mean, you can make there. an argument it that if you're going... It went like that, and I clipped it on its rear leg. Is he okay, know? or who knows? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just kept going, and then I realized it's like I had a... You know, my bike was a dual sport, you know, uh, you know, basically a, an, an RS. And uh, so it had these big hella lights on the... On the uh, uh, there's on engine, the engine guards, you know, low. And it broke off the mount for one of those lights, okay. so it was hanging down onto my exhaust, and I like, I smelled it. I was oh, like, oh Jesus! The, what's that plastic? That's scary. That's real scary. And I realized, oh man, they really did hit that thing. Yeah, I feel like going for long road trips. Well, yeah, obviously the difficult thing is where do you get twisties? I think I'm going to have to go up north. I mean, you know, it, yeah. the fact is i got to drive 40 minutes to get epic driving. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. not the end of the world. If I lived in, in, in a city, you know, I, there's no epic driving. I mean... You know, I mean, it's pretty darn nice. I've driven... What's that? K. That's a, that's a cop. Yeah, it should be a cop somewhere. Oh. Um, but I'm going to make a goal that, that every day I'm going to crank the tunes up. I've got, I, the question is, when am I going to drive the other cars? But I think this is so much different than, than my other cars that I'm going to want to drive them all for different reasons. I feel very civilized driving in this car. I, I really... Oh, yeah. I, I don't feel like it's a... But it, it's a direct descendant of the Enzo. The engine is. I gotta figure out how to work the parking brake and shit. Yeah, I tell you, it'd be interesting. The guy you, wrote text me back. He's like, "You should." I gotta drive my uh, my AMG, and you feel the difference in the the, the, the throttle's sensi more sensitive than. No, this one's like easier to manage yeah. the throttle. Yeah, the, I had to really get used to my AMG throttle. This is extremely docile in terms of, of not getting away from you. You know, uh, I'm I am told it will it, it it truly will if you if you give it a little bit. Here you can leave it here. Do better. You want to take it for a ride? No, I can't. This is this is too much. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> no, you're gonna take it. Uh, here, better. Do you, yes or no? All right, let's take it for a ride. Yeah, he's okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Here, here turn it around right there. Oh, that's an AMG two, a six three. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's he's got all the money in there. Man. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's a hell of a car. Those are nice. Okay, the Bray. Okay, so yeah, so pull pull both. Goes yeah, out. pull pull both the paddles. Okay, you're neutral. There you go. And, and then the I think is, the brake is the, the bottom left. Push a button. See see down 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 down. Oh, CP. here we go. Uh, maybe it's uh, do do no miles per hour. What was that? Oh, park on. Okay, then you got it. Now it's just something. The brake engaged. Okay. Okay, cool. Wow. We'll figure it out.